So tell me, what rhymes with epilepsy? <laughs> Pepsi? Hmm? Narcolepsy? Jim Alcalili's pretty sex? What? No. Yes, no, yes. In the UK, where 500, 600,000 of us have epilepsy, um, that's one in 100, and this place holds 400, so come on, four more of us, we can decide we're on a five-side team, or a D&D &D group, whatever. What rhymes with epilepsy is a 78-year-old woman. This woman, after being diagnosed with epilepsy and having her seizures controlled through medication, she presented with hypographia, and that's compulsive writing. And she did it through a form of poetry, and no one really knows why. Was it due to the epilepsy? Was it due to the medication? Or a mix of both? We don't know. And that really sets a scene for epilepsy as a whole. Just, we know a lot, not enough. In the past, we were seen as people talking to gods, and so we're revered. In some places in the present, we're seen as people who are inhabited by evil spirits, and we should be destroyed. So what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of misunderstanding on both sides of the spectrum. <laughs> but, you know, what really is it? Well, I'm going to get explicit. It's a condition meaning your brain it might fire on synchronized rhythms. And you're probably wondering, why is rhythm bad? People always say, I need more rhythm in my life. Well, when it comes to the nervous system, one thing's fundamental. is that every potential action you do requires an action potential. Just call it a nerve impulse. It's just the consequence of neural membrane ion exchange. And you get a resulting difference that depolarizes and repolarizes your neurons. What? OK, like a Mexican wave, charge, it falls and rises and then carries on again, with each of your neurons relaying an electrical message, and then it gets to rest for like a millisecond. And that could be for anything, from lifting a cup to tapping your head while doing a weird belly rub. But when you're having a seizure, you're not feeling like a winner, because your brain starts firing in patterns like angry, synchronized swimmers. Because normally when you're walking and talking, neurons in different parts of your brain, they're firing off at random. But when you're having a seizure, cluster them, they start to pattern. So like I said, walking, talking, doing things, different parts of your brain is going. It can be described sort of like, but when you're having a seizure, you get hypersynchronous neural activity in one part of your brain. So it's more like, and that's not really great. Not really useful information, and that's what leads to the seizure. Okay, well, what can give you seizures? Well, it can be genetic or acquired. I'll start with the former, then I'll move to the latter as acquired. Because some of these seizures, they can reflect a single gene defect, causing neuronal upset, or it can be more indirect, like a stuntman who hits his head internally, bled with no O2 getting fed. Okay, well, what triggers seizures? Well, yeah, you guys are kind of right, but there are other triggers apart from flashing lights, low blood sugar, maybe high stress, or really any imbalance in what's in your head. Okay, science over. I've got some time left. There are a couple of things I need to address. You can say brainstorm. I don't get offended. There's one thing I think, though, needs to be appended. If you see someone having a seizure, put them in recovery position. Just sit. Don't stick anything in my mouth. I won't swallow this. Thank you.